Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Tutorial video. This is Vishnu and I'm back again with another technical tutorial about image editing using GIMP, which is a free powerful image editing software. Today in this quick tutorial we are going to review another basics of image editing, how to crop an image. So let's get into the details. Here I opened an image to show you how to crop in GIMP using various options. So first question is where is the crop tool? It is here in the toolbox, looks like tip of a sharp knife. Click on that. Alternatively you can go to tools in the menu bar, then go to transform tools and then select the crop tool from here. Also, keyboard shortcuts to access the crop tool is Shift C. When the crop tool is selected, various crop tool options are listed over here. Click and drag your cursor onto the image to select an area to crop. Sides of the rectangle can be dragged to resize the crop area. Also, you can resize the crop area using the corner of the rectangle. Select the center of the crop area and drag to reposition the crop area. Here in the tool option, the position attributes can be used to place left top corner of the crop area accurately. Similarly, the size attribute can be used to control the crop area accurately. Here are various available units to control your position and size attributes. The highlight checkbox can be used to dim everything outside the selection. There are various guides available which could be useful in some cases. Once you are satisfied with your selection, just click inside the crop rectangle to get your image cropped. Let's use this simple image with two layers to understand other options available over here. The option current layer only helps you to perform the crop only onto the current selected layer. For example, if it is not selected and I am selecting an area to crop including both the layer, after performing the crop, the final image will include the area from both the layers. To show you the difference, when this current layer only is selected, even if I am selecting my crop area starting outside the current layer, it is going to select only the area from the current layer. And when I crop this area, it is going to crop only the current layer without impacting anything on the other layers. Let's talk about allow growing. When this option is not selected and you are trying to define your crop area, GIMP will not allow you to go beyond the boundary of the actual image. Now when this is selected and you are trying to define the crop area, you can very well go outside the actual boundary of the image. Crop this and in the final image, the area outside actual image will be filled with default background. Now, what is this expand from center? When this is not selected, a selection area considers the starting point as corner. And when this is selected, a selection area considers the starting point as center. Here, the next option fixed is used to fix the size of the selection area to a specific aspect ratio with height or to a specific size. Let's try them to see how they works. 
let's try to fix the selection area by aspect ratio the default aspect ratio is taken from the current image now when we try to draw the selection area it will follow the aspect ratio mentioned now we will try the next one which is width and whatever width we specify over here will always be maintained over here when we try to draw the selection area even if you try to drag it towards right it will not change the width of the selection area the next option to try is height mention a height here and the selection area will follow the height mentioned now let's try the last option which is size and mention a size here now when you try to draw the selection area it will be fixed to the mentioned size and you won't be able to resize the selection area by dragging it the last crop option we are going to see is auto shrink this option is used to shrink the selection area to the active layer only by identifying its edges this option is effective only when active layer is contrasting against the background so for example as here i have selected an area which is also having a part of background selected and the majority of the active layer selected now when i hit the auto shrink button it will just shrink the selection area to the current active layer only so this is all about today's tutorial how to crop an image using gimp i hope it will be useful for you let me know if you like it subscribe to stay in touch you are welcome to share your comment and question thank you for watching tech tutorial video see you soon with another tutorial